Well, mosquitoes are spreading the potentially deadly West Nile virus right across Texas. Yeah, Travis County health officials say they are seeing the most cases of the West Nile virus in the county in nearly a decade. So far in 2012, there have been eight confirmed cases in Travis County, including one death. Two cases have been reported in Hayes County and two cases in Williamson County. And since mosquito bites are the number one threat with this, we decided to look into some products that will help protect you from them. Over to Angie Bevan for more on that. Good morning. Good morning. Well, the threat of virus carrying mosquitoes can be something that is difficult to avoid, but there are plenty of ways to protect yourself without just staying inside altogether. Now, experts say one thing to look for when you're considering products to repel mosquitoes is to really pay attention to the ingredients that are listed on the product. The CDC compiled a list to, of what to look for when choosing a mosquito repellent. Products containing DEET, popular brands are Off, Cutter, Sawyer, and Ultrathon. Repellent with Picardin, such as Cutter Advanced or Skin So Soft Bug Guard Plus. Oil of Lemon Eucalyptus is a proven ingredient. You can find that in Repel. And products containing IR3535. Skin So Soft Bug Guard Plus Expedition contains that chemical. Now we're here with Jim Holland, who is the owner of EcoWise here in Austin. And Jim, we understand that you've got some products here as well that you would certainly recommend to folks if they're having issues with mosquitoes and wanting to keep them off of their skin. Can you tell us about some of those? Well, there's always choices. And we have um, ways to put things on your skin. This is going to be a, a, a repel is a, a cedar oil based. It's a natural product not absorbed into the skin it's, uh, and it works great. I've done it many times and they only find the place that you missed. Okay. Now a lot of people, myself included, we always want to find natural ways, you know, to for things like this. We want to repel against mosquitoes. But a lot of people might worry, okay, well some of these more natural ingredients, do they work as well as some of the maybe harsher chemicals? They work great. Um, there's anecdotal as well as some uh, scientific evidence that these, uh, they probably won't last as long as other products, but if you're outside and sweating, the, the other products will come off just like this will. So the, um, there's a level playing field. They're basically going to work just as well. You've got to be careful and reapply as needed. All right, Jim, thanks so much for your advice on that. And the CDC says to definitely pay attention to the concentration of the active ingredient in the product you choose. They say if it's less than 10% of that ingredient, the repellent might only work for just a couple of hours. And coming up in our next half hour here on KXCN News Today, we'll take a look at some other products that don't require putting anything on your skin at all. For now, live in Austin, Angie Bevan, KXAN News. All right, Angie.